Uh, this is the Finlander Report. We're here with men's hockey head coach Joe Burkhart. Well, coach, you had eight wins this year, made the playoffs for the first time in seven years. A big win, huge, over UW Eau Claire. Some people would say this was kind of unexpected where we've been the last two years with one win. What are your thoughts on how this season went? I mean, to answer the unexpected, I don't think anybody expected us. Expect, you know, the, the predictors, the league voted us to be 12th in the league, our coaches poll. Um, I think everybody outside of us, just because of the past, had probably expected to have another season like it's been for how many years. But, um, you know, internally we knew what we were building, and that goes into last year, and, and uh, we're not surprised by what we did. Um, we accomplished a lot of great things, but uh, we still got a long ways to go also. I would like to make a suggestion for next year that we just skip to the month of January and not play November, December, or February, because we were 5-2-1 and one in January, and our two of our losses were by a total of three goals and one in overtime. What was it that just clicked for, for us that you, month? You know, honestly, I, I you know we came out the gates, our first three games, we went 2-0-1. Oh, we were healthy. I think we were absolutely under the radar. Nobody expected that. But, you know, after that third game, the injury started to hit our team. And it was, it just kind of compounded from one to, uh, you know, we were up to as many as eight guys injured um, through the first half of the year. And then January, that Christmas break, that Christmas break of two weeks, that could, that could not have come at a better time. Uh, we got healthy, and January is when we, we really started to see you know, not only what we did in the first half as being bad, it just was an experience of going through the ups and downs, but also for our team getting healthy at that time. And, and we had a lot of home games uh, the second half of the season. That also helped. We had amazing crowds. Um, and we had two games well over 1,000 people. We averaged probably 500 people per game. So all those things put together made it an incredibly well-played second half. Now we've got a bunch of kids, Rez and Kendall Bolden Porter and Timo and Avery Hubrecht. What does that season mean for those four guys? Because they were here the, the year before you got here when we did not have a lot of enthusiasm. There was not a lot of positive energy going on. How special is it for those guys to have gone through a year like this to close out their career? Well, like, you know, first and foremost, we'll, we'll tell every uh, incoming freshman class that uh, lead this program in better shape uh, when you when you leave it in better shape when you leave here and that's something that they definitely did they came into a program that wasn't doing well um, they they chose to stay here uh, you know when myself and the other uh, part of the coaches staff you know got on campus we um, we clean house uh, we got rid of a lot of players and not because they were bad people it was just uh, they weren't playing to our style um, you know the guys you're talking about can they fit in and, and Rez more importantly he was our captain and he was a captain at a young age. We picked him as a captain, and he led on and off the ice. And uh, to see that senior class leave this program in better shape than when they got here, uh, I mean, so it, it, it's pretty amazing. And, and just what they've been through here, there wasn't a lot of success, and it would have been the easiest thing in the world for those guys to walk away from this program, but they stuck it out. And it just the character, the integrity of, of those young men is is going to take them a long ways in life. And. I'm really happy for them. We as a coaching staff are extremely happy for that one. Well, you know, this was a season where we kind of look at things that what we've been through the last few years really led to this season. You know, like we've had 18 losses coming in this year by two goals or less. And you're starting to bring in your kids and you're starting to build a positive attitude. And these guys are now, okay, Coach Burkhardt knows what he's talking about. And we can be successful because the close losses are there. Those all were big things that played a part into this year. Well, it was a process, you know, and, 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 and you know, I, I always use a phrase, it's like when I first got here, it was like it was a dog that's been kicked too many times, you know, it just, there was no confidence in anything here, there was no, you know, the value of work, the value of, of, of confidence, there was nothing here, and, and that doesn't say anything, but it, it's the bottom line is that we were beating a, a dog that had just been over and over, and it just, why listen, it's going to be the same thing over and over, but, uh, it, it's a process, and it took some time to get the belief back into you know the guys that, especially the guys that stayed here. And uh, the credit goes to them; they fought through it, they believed in it, um, and uh, the new guys coming in to help them to believe and, and turn this into something pretty special. Well, coach, this has been a great season. I'm, I know that we're going to continue to get better and stronger, you know, over 
the next few years, and I'm excited to see where we're going uh, with the program. I agree, Mike. You know, it's exciting. It's, it's, it was a huge step for our program. It was a huge step. Not only, you know, the eight wins doesn't sound like a lot, but from where it's been to where it's going and what we did this year, the, the close games, the two ties, uh, making the playoffs for the first time in the NCHA. These are all great things. They're all great stepping stones, but um, we definitely want to go a lot further next year as far as playoffs, uh, more wins, and continue to build this program. Well, Coach, we want to thank you for your time um, today. Thank this, you. You're welcome. This has been the Finlander Report brought to you by the Sports Information Office.